So now we look at what is called the Wigner transformation. Some of you may already have learned this in quantum mechanics, but it's a very brief review that we do. The idea is that one can assign a classical operator or, or let's not call it classical operator, let's call it classical observable O C L R P corresponding to a quantum mechanical operator O hat R P right and the prescription to do that is O C L R comma P is integral r minus r by 2 o hat r plus r by 2 e to the power minus sorry plus <coughs> e to the power i p dot r d cube r right the inverse of this is the quantization prescription by wheel and here the idea is that for every classical every classical observable o c l r comma p the matrix representation of O hat R comma P which is sorry we will say that the matrix representation of this since we are saying the matrix representation this becomes R prime O hat R of this quantum mechanical operator O hat is given by so this is in the coordinate representation so in the coordinate representation is given by r prime o hat r is 1 over h q integral o c l r plus r prime by 2 comma p e to the power i by h q p dot r prime minus r dp <coughs> note the measure is different i have so this is identical to dqp where now p is a scalar matrix and if you want to write down this we can write down this as a vector r but essentially the idea is same right <coughs> let's see if we can first really validate this for a case of a single particle so let's take o hat as identical to the density matrix in the canonical ensemble and there we have r prime rho hat r was 1 by v e to the power minus pi r prime minus r whole square divided by lambda t square so following the Wigner transformation we write this as r minus 2 rho hat r plus r by 2 and this becomes 1 by v e to the power minus pi r minus r by 2 minus r sorry minus capital r minus r by 2 whole square over lambda t square which is 1 by v e to the power minus pi r square over lambda t square therefore the classical observable which is r comma p is the Wigner transformation tells me that corresponding to this quantum mechanical operator there is a classical observable which we will call rho of capital R comma P and that prescription is given by this so we take it as 
integral d of r 1 by v e to the power minus pi r square over lambda t square e to the power i p dot r. <coughs> this clearly is a Gaussian, uh, there has to be a h bar over here. So did I miss an h bar over here? There is a h bar over here. Now this clearly is a Gaussian integral. Then this expression over here, I can manipulate in the following way, r square minus i p dot r lambda t square over pi is identical to r minus i p dot lambda t square times 2 pi whole square so that this gives me r square minus i p dot r lambda t square over pi plus i lambda t square over 2 pi whole square p square which is now a scalar because p square is p dot p so we will write this as p but i clearly have this factor over here so this is r square minus i p dot r lambda t square over pi minus lambda t square over 2 pi whole square p square but i realize that there is a minus sign which is outside so then the term that i need to add is plus so this minus and this minus makes it a minus therefore i need to add a term which is plus lambda t square over 2 pi whole square times p square if i add these two then you see the coefficient this particular term is identical to this and therefore the exponential is pi over lambda t square r minus i p lambda t square over 2 pi whole square plus lambda t square over 2 pi whole square times p square which is going to be e to the power minus pi over lambda t square r minus i lambda t square over 2 pi times p whole square minus pi over lambda t square and I have lambda t 4 raised to the power 4 pi square p square. So this gives me lambda t square <coughs> and then I have a pi over here so that I have e to the power minus pi over lambda t square r minus i lambda t square over 2 pi times p whole square e to the power minus lambda t square over 4 pi times p square therefore rho of r comma p is 1 by v and then i have d of r e to the power minus pi lambda t square r minus i lambda t square over 2 pi times p square e to the power minus lambda t square over 4 pi times p square however note that i have made a severe mistake in the sense that i did not include a h bar over here so if i have to include a h bar over here that means this becomes h bar right this becomes 2 pi is replaced by 2 pi h bar you have a h bar you have a h bar and here you have h bar square Again, you have h bar square, h bar square. 
so now therefore i have 1 over v lambda t square over 4 pi h bar square times p square i have dr e to the power minus pi over lambda t square r minus r0 whole square and this is clearly a gaussian integral and remember this has a measure of r square so therefore you come up with the result that this is going to be 1 by v e to the power minus lambda t square over 4 pi h bar square p square and this is square root pi over lambda t whole square raised to the power 3 my mistake sorry this has to be pi times lambda t square raised to the power 3 which is equal to 1 by v you have lambda t whole cube e to the power minus lambda t square over 4 pi h bar square p square good so this becomes you see the thermal volume times e to the power minus lambda t square over 4 pi h bar square p square now let's focus on this term so now lambda t is beta h bar over 2m pi raised to the power half so that lambda t square is going to be beta so this has to be h square h square over twice m pi so let's rewrite this now therefore as beta h square over twice m pi times 1 over 4 pi h bar square which we'll write down as <coughs> 1 over 4 pi square h bar square and h square i note is that 2 pi times not 2 pi but 4 pi square times h bar square therefore this is beta over twice m 4 pi square h bar square divided by 4 pi square h bar square so that this is beta over 2m so essentially what you have is r this row of rp the classical observable corresponding to the phase space uh, to the quantum mechanical operator rho hat gives you the classical observable which is lambda t over v that follows from this relation e to the power minus beta p square over 2m and this is exactly the canonical phase space density that we derived when we did classical statistical mechanics so now let's apply the reverse so we want to use the uh, well quantization principle and <coughs> essentially that says that if i have a classical operator rp i can get the corresponding matrix element of the quantum mechanical operator in the coordinate representation as 1 by h cube dp o c l r comma p this is r plus r prime by 2 p e to the power i p dot r prime minus r over h bar and in our case i know that o c l corresponds to rho the phase space density which goes as lambda t over v e to the power minus beta p square over t to m so that essentially i have o hat r as 1 over h cube dp e to the power minus beta p square over twice m e to the power i p dot r prime minus r over h bar but it's the same trick so this is a vector integral so it's the same trick now we take these two and write this as beta over twice m p square minus twice i m beta h bar r minus 
r prime minus r p dot right <coughs> which becomes minus beta over twice m i have p vector p minus i m over beta h bar r prime minus r whole square and then i have minus i m beta h bar whole square r prime minus r whole square so that this it becomes very nicely p minus p0 whole square and then i have a minus minus makes it a plus but then i have i square which makes it a minus i have m square over beta h bar square r prime minus r whole square times beta over twice m so that this becomes beta over 2m p minus p0 whole square minus this beta beta gets cancelled m sorry it gives me one power of beta because this is beta square over here i get m over here and then i get 2 beta h bar square r prime minus r whole square so that the matrix representation matrix elements in the coordinate representation of this operator row becomes 1 by h cube there is something which we have missed we have missed this factor which will come in over here which is going to be lambda t over v so i have lambda t over v and then i have integral over dp e to the power minus beta over twice m p minus p naught whole square e to the power minus m over 2 beta h bar square r prime minus r whole square right this is a standard gaussian integral which we have been doing so much so that i can immediately write down this as 1 over h cube square root pi so this is going to be square root twice m pi over beta raised to the power 3 and then i'll have e to the power m over 2 beta h bar square r prime minus r whole square now recall that the thermal de Broglie wavelength lambda t was beta h over twice m pi half right and if you look at this expression then this is going to be m 2 beta times h square 4 pi square so which we write down as pi this gives me 2 2 m pi beta h square so this is the mistake i made in the earlier expression and you immediately see that this is going to be pi over lambda t whole square and this together is going to give you the inverse of the thermal volume and you recover the result pi square of a lambda t square r prime minus r whole square so that you have the result which we derived when we looked at the ideal gas that in the coordinate representation that the density matrix look like this so therefore we have now a very nice way of going from the classical to the corresponding quantum mechanical representation so given a classical operator we can go to the quantum mechanical operator or given a quantum mechanical operator we can go to the classical operator